Hello everyone, my name is Katie and today I am going to be showing you my Halloween costume which is a DIY Snapchat dancing hot dog. Now I know Halloween is literally two days away when this is uploading, but I worked very very hard on this costume and I wanted to share it all with you guys. And just a little disclaimer, I am not the first person to post this video. I saw someone else post this video, so I changed up a little bit of the ideas and made it kind of my original, but I'll link the original in the description box below so you can see that if you want to. Without further ado, let's get started. To make this headband, you will need black construction paper, gray or silver duct tape, a styrofoam ball, thin wire, a hot glue gun, gray paint, green paint, paint containers, scissors, a paintbrush, an exacto knife, and a pencil. So in order to make the strap part of the headband, I am grabbing my silver duct tape and I am pulling out quite a long strand. It is better to do more than you think you need because you can always cut it off, but you can't add more. So basically I'm just ripping it off and then I'm placing it down. Then I'm just repeating that with another, except I'm placing the two sticky sides together. Now I am just folding over the excess so that there is no sticky part. I'm going to take my styrofoam ball and with my pencil I am going to draw lines going around of equal length on each side. I know it may be hard to see but this is what it looks like and now I'm going to cut along the center with an X-Acto knife. So now I'm going to take my green acrylic paint, which is in the shade Mint Green, shake it up, and place it in one of my paint containers. And so now I'm going to paint like the dome edge of the styrofoam half domes. After I painted the first coat, I let it dry, and now I'm going to paint on a second coat. So these domes took me three coats each to get the desired color that I wanted. Once the final layer of green paint has dried, I am now going to paint the other part with dark gray paint. This took me two coats to get the color that I wanted. While I had the gray paint out, I decided to paint one side of the strap for the headband because the other side won't be seen. The reason why I chose the silver duct tape is because it is a similar color to the gray that I am painting on top, and therefore, if some doesn't cover it completely, you won't be able to see a different color. While that is drying, I'm going to take my black construction paper and draw out some music notes. I first drew the two different kinds of music notes, cut them out, and use them to trace the other two so that they're all uniform. Now I am taking my eraser and erasing any pencil marks. Now I'm going to take my wire cutter, steel wire, and my hot glue gun. I am pulling out the wire and it's better to get a longer piece here than a shorter piece because you can always trim it down later but I'm going to cut off a piece and hot glue it to the music notes. In order to connect the headphones together I am hot gluing the strip to the styrofoam. In order to make sure it was the correct length I tried it on around my head, marked that spot, and hot glued it. I use this marker to place dots so I know where to poke holes for the music notes. Bend the wires and secure them with tape so that they do not poke you. This is what the finished headphones should look like. In order to make the actual clothing, you will need a coral jacket, and mine is kind of on the pinky side, but it will still work. Batting, yellow, red, green, and tan fabric, a hot glue gun, scissors, velcro, a ruler, and a pen. I am going to start by measuring the amount of batting I will need in order to make the bun. After I cut it out, I am going to use a sharpie to trace along the shape of the jacket 
so that I can exclude the arm. Since I doubled up on batting, I'm going to be cutting out the two layers and therefore making both of the sides identical. Now that I have both sides cut out, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue the batting onto the jacket. I now used a mirror to mark some dotted lines to show me where to place the tan felt. I placed the tan felt along the dotted lines and hot glued it down. I flipped the jacket over and used my pen to trace where the tan felt should end. Once I got to the arm, I flipped that over and continued drawing straight. Then I cut along that line. In order to have the appropriate amount of tan felt on the upper back half of my back, I used my ruler to measure the width from armpit to armpit. Then I cut out that same amount on the tan felt and set it aside for later. I flipped my jacket over with the tan felt attached to it and cut off some excess in order to have the bun wrap around myself. I also cut the bottom off as well. I then hot glued the felt to the back. I flipped it over and hot glued the rest of the felt on the front. Cut off the excess. Do this on the bottom as well. Using extra straps, cover up the top. Take that piece of fabric that we cut out earlier and glue it to the back. I am now measuring the width I want my green fabric to be and my width was about one and a half inches. And then I am going to cut two strands of these. Trim its length so that it's the same as the rest of the sweatshirt. Then hot glue it down. For the ketchup and mustard, I am taking the scraps of batting that I have and hot gluing them together so it forms kind of a cylinder. Hot glue the batting down on the fabric and then roll it up and hot glue it again. Repeat this for the yellow fabric. With my sharpie, I am dotting down the line where I'm going to put my sauces. Then I'm going to follow that line with my glue gun and place down the ketchup and then the mustard. Now I have to velcro my headphones to my head to make sure that they do not fall off. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I worked really hard on this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. I post videos every Sunday, so I will see you next week. Bye!